Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about some tips and tricks for what's called number sense. And number sense is really just understanding kind of how numbers work and how to use them to help you solve problems. And for this part, we're going to focus on finding percentages of numbers. So let's get started. So when I look at finding percentages of numbers, I like to use what I call the 10% rule. Uh, there's a little trick that you can use to find 10% of a number, and then you can use that to find other percentages like 20, 30, or 5, or even some you know, not so common numbers like 13, 14% of a number. So we're going to go through some examples and show you how that's done. And so let's get started. We have a problem that says calculate 10% of 1250. And so the 10% rule basically says taking 10% of a number is dividing it by 10, or really you're just getting rid of the last digit in the number. So finding 10% of a number is really as simple as crossing out that last number, and there's your answer. It's 125. That is 10% of 1250, okay? So let's look at another example. It says calculate 10% of 171. So this is a number that doesn't end in zero. Um, the 10% rule really gives you exact answers when you, the number ends in zero. But if it doesn't end in zero, like this one, you can still apply the same rule, but it gives you more of an approximation, a number that's really, really close to 10%. So I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm left with 17. 10% 10 of 171 is technically 17.1, but 17 is right there, so it, it really applies and this, the same rule can be used. So let's look at some other examples on how you can apply the 10% rule to find other percentages. So let's use the 10% rule to find out how to calculate percentages of other numbers like 20% or 5% or even 14%. So if I want to calculate 20% of 680, I'm going to use my 10% trick and then just double it because 20% is double 10%. So 10% is going to be just getting rid of this zero at the end, 68. And then 20%, I just need to double this number, multiply it by two, I get 136. All right, so there's 20%. Now let's look at our next example, calculate 5% of 400. Again, I'm gonna use my 10% trick. I'm gonna get rid of this last digit here. It's gonna be 40. And so 5% is half of 10%. So I just need to take my 40, cut it in half, or divide it by two, and I get 20. All right, now my last example is a not so clean number, it's 14%. It's kind of a random number, but I can use the same tricks in finding out what the value is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 10% rule, and then to find the extra 4%, I'm actually gonna do the 10% rule again, because 10% of 10% is really just 1%, and I need four different 1%, so I'm gonna use that in a couple of steps. So first of all, my 10%, I'm gonna get rid of this, that's gonna be 35, okay? Now, 1%, like I said, again, is just basically, it's 10% of the 10%. And another trick to finding 10% of a number, instead of getting rid of that last digit, is actually taking the invisible decimal point and moving it to the left once. So with any whole number, there's an invisible decimal point at the end of the number, if I want to find 10% of it, all I need to do is move the decimal point to the left one spot. And so it really becomes 3.5. So this is going to be 3.5. Now that's only going to get me 1%. I need 4%. So I need to multiply this number by 4. And 3.5 and times 4 is basically just doubling the number twice. So if the double 3.5 is 7, and then double that is 14. Okay, so now I have my 10%, which is 35, I'm gonna write it over here, and my 4%, which is 14, because I just need to add these two numbers together. 14 plus 35 is gonna be 49, which means 49 is gonna be 14% of 350. So I hope this helps when you get to questions that ask you to find percentages of numbers. I know some real life applications of this are things like finding a tip on a restaurant bill or other kinds of tips, um, but this 10% rule really comes in handy when you wanna do some quick math um, and see what your answer really could be possibly. So thanks for watching and keep watching the next videos.
If you feel like after you're watching my videos, you think you may still need some extra practice in the classroom, you want to take classes with us, visit our website at www.gedyes.com. It'll take you right to this website and you can find locations and where our classes are being offered. If you live in one of our you know, neighboring counties, you can definitely visit our website, uh, geds.com, and you can click on this link down here, FDOE Adult Educational Contacts. This will list the different contacts of the adult ed programs in the counties throughout the state of Florida. So you don't necessarily have to be in Palm Beach County to take advantage of adult and community ed classes. If you live in one of these counties, reach out to these people and they'll get you set up with classes in their county. Thanks again for watching.